This is gonna be fun. Check it, check it. I've been watching The Flash for over four years now, so I thought, why not make a game about it? So welcome back to my channel, and I hope you enjoy what lies ahead. I started off by making a new project in Unity Hub and opening it up in Unity. I then turned the flash into pixel art, which is how I wanted the game art to be. After a bit of tutorial watching, animating and coding, I managed to make him come to life. While I was playing around with the animations, my boy here suddenly switched on his rage mode and started slapping. Speaking of slapping, why don't you go and slap subscribe right now. We are only 6 subs away from 50. At 50 subs I will do a slap reveal. I'm sure you don't want to miss that. Now what makes the flash the flash? Is it his white teeth or his red suit? Well none. It's his speed of course. So I added the dash mechanism for the game and later gave it a nice little touch if I may say so myself. After all that running, looks like old Barry's taking a break. Ooh, he be vibing hard. Okay, back to work now. I made a nice little city background where the first level of my game will be played. I also added a parallax effect, which makes our background r seem infinite, while all it's simply doing is making a new background every time the last one ends. Pretty cool, huh? What's that smell? No, it can't be. Is it? Is it news? What's up everyone? I'm Dromithia with Mr. Eyes and we have got news for you. So there was a conference held at the programmer's lab in Antarctica. Our reporter Jan is live there as we speak. Over to you, Jan. Thanks, Drumit. I am reporting live here at the Programmer's Lab in Antarctica where all the programmers had a virtual meeting. The topics discussed were severe and I have been told to not reveal them, but hey. YOLO. YOLO indeed, Jan. YOLO indeed. Mr. Eyes, do you have any thoughts on YOLO? No. Um, okay, back to you, Jan. The first topic discussed was the petition to change Hello World to Hey World, as Hey is more approachable. I must say, this is a clear indication of progress in the programming community. Indeed, this clearly shows how far we've come in technology and evolution. Any add-ons, Mr. Eyes? The second topic was to change the name of variable type, string, to text var. It is reported that the literature guys were unhappy that their precious word was given a different meaning. Hold on, I'm now getting confirmation that the physicists also fought for the custody of the word string for their theory. This debate is gonna be one for the ages. I am eagerly waiting for it. Lastly, our intel at the Antarctic Ice Station tells us that the programmers at Apple have been programmed into a loop, and therefore their products show no growth. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Drumit. Thanks, Jan. Things never fail to get interesting in the programming community, am I right, Mr. Eyes? Anywho, this was all the news we had for you today. Adios. And <laughs> coming back to the game, I made an enemy in Photoshop and exported him into Unity. Then I wrote some code and um, there are now moving enemies in the game who follow you. They do nothing as of now but we'll fix that soon. Here is me just having some fun with them. I also added a cool little backflip jump animation to the player because I want him to be everything I couldn't. I then made a nice enemy spawner which spawns enemies at a fixed rate. Or maybe not. Before we proceed, I'd like to take a few minutes to explain how movement is done in Unity for those curious minds watching. There are many ways in which we can move the player in Unity. The most common one is by using the character controller plus player input scripts. The character controller, as the name suggests, 
controls the character and what he can do. It controls all the physics and math necessary for moving the player. On the other hand, the player input script checks for input from the player and based on this input calls functions from the character controller in order to move the player. You can think of it like this. The player input script is a sensory organ which listens for stimulus and sends it to the brain aka the character controller which in turn tells the player how to react to the input and what to do. To write code Next up, I saw a video from my guy Brackies here about introduction to yes. audio in Unity and added some of that juicy audio into the game. And here's how it sounds. To add an actual motive in the game, I thought of a mission type thing where you have to collect key parts by completing levels in order to unlock the door to your wife who has been kidnapped. I'm like wow, what an original idea. And of course, I forgot to record me making it, so here is the final design for my first level. Oh, and I also added a trampoline to the game. Why? Because I can. And yeah, I made it a mobile game for all my mobile gamers. The box here behind contains the key part. As you can see, it's well guarded. Only epic gamers will be able to complete this level. I'd like to end the video at this moment of loss. As they say, losing is for losers, and I am evidently a loser. I hope you liked this video enough to see part 2 of the Flash game devlog, where I start making my second level as well as the main menu for the game. So till then, don't pout and peace out. <laughs>